What's up guys? All right, round two of the video series, getting ready for the Ball 1000. There's a lot of work that goes into this and this is gonna be kind of the behind the scenes. You guys gotta see the bike get built. Now we're preparing for it. You know, there's um, 1,260 miles is what they're saying right now. It's still kind of early, some things could change, but almost 1,300 miles, which is a long ways. That's from here, well into Texas, pretty much, on um, pretty much straight dirt, Baja, desert racing all the way down. So there's a lot to pre prepare for it. We got a lot of suspension, we got a lot of bikes to build, we have to uh, plan for headlights and uh, pit equipment. I'll kind of show you what's going on. Um, we're doing it here. We're gonna test the race bike and start getting everything together. So this is, uh, is kind of where it all starts. We have all these pit boxes. I'm actually adding four more because of it being a peninsula run. Uh, with it being a peninsula run, you need more pit guys. Uh, it's usually it's usually four, three to four hundred miles longer doing it this way. So this is my checklist of all the stuff that uh, go in the pit boxes, and that's what I'm kind of doing here. So like some of this stuff I have doubles in, so I'm gonna make a few more boxes. Um, but yeah, like. As you can see, there's radiators to ignition covers, to clutch covers, to water pump covers, uh, axles, there's oils, there's fuel pumps, um, pretty much anything that could happen in case something happens when we're out in the middle of nowhere um, and we're at a pit because there's some, we have to pit every 50 miles pretty much is what it comes out. Some places 45 if it's really sandy. If it's hard packed and fast, we get up to like 60, 65 is pushing it. So that's a lot of stops for uh, 1,200, 1,300 miles. There's, there's a lot, there's 22 20 to 24, depending on how the race course is gonna lay out. Haven't got quite that figured out yet, but I'm starting it. This is actually kind of a, here's the race course. So we start in Ensenada and end in La Paz, 1,260 miles. Um, looks small because it's on this sheet, but yeah, that's a uh, it's a long way. So we uh, this is my pit crew list. Some aren't confirmed yet, and I'm kind of getting everyone together and gonna place where they go on this with this and see where people are willing to go to. So we uh, I got a lot of work to figure out there. Um, so I gotta still build a couple of boxes, um, and then. I just went to Showa. This is about how many sets it takes for suspension for the Ball 1000. There's race sets, backup set, a couple pre-run sets, and then production stuff for the other two riders, um, and an extra set in case something happens to them or stuff starts getting blown out. You know, we'll put in well over a thousand miles pre-running before the race day, so you know that's a lot of miles on uh, on the. Uh, all suspension and bikes so we have all this stuff we're gonna go test with the race bike and kind of figure that out and have a spare set and all that all this pit equipment uh, there's three sets of headlights here right now this is our uh, these are kind of spares we have three more sets that Ba Designs has and so they have three more sets we're actually going to testing uh, tomorrow night with them to test out some new stuff that they have and make sure everything's working and those all have to go through so there's no shorts or anything bad connections um, so you know it takes a lot to get down the peninsula there's gonna be two night sections um, it's gonna be about 24 hours straight race is what we're guessing so there's a long ways a lot of things could go wrong but the more you're prepared the more you don't have issues so that's the plan and right now I'm kind of working on my van. We got Ed back here, Chris back here. See, they're brother. not much help. They just keep me entertained in the background, I guess. Chris is busy on his phone, but I'm gonna go through all this. So everything and some that's in those pit boxes will be in here. So mine and Bobby at San, San Diego Powerhouse's place uh, or his box van will be stacked full of everything in case uh, with, that we can possibly have um, and hopefully that's enough to get us through the uh, the race um, what else 
where else can we go? Those are spare wheels up here that we're gonna build out. There's some down there too. We're kind of getting everything figured out, like where is going, what pits those are gonna go to, um, and whatnot. These are all race wheels here across here. We'll have six sets of race wheels ready to go. We'll go through five, and we'll probably go through six uh, by the end of it, really. For so. Well, literally waste. These are all used because I just broke all the wheels in. They got to be retrued and balanced and ready for the race. But they'll have brand new wheels or tires on them. Some Dunlops, some Nitro Mooses, and by the end of uh, 24 hours, six sets will be pretty much destroyed and <laughs> done. Uh, that's all all she wrote. So I'll uh, we'll we'll do some more. We're gonna do some testing tomorrow, and then some more packing and get all this stuff together and give you the the whole rundown on what it takes to go race the ball 1000. JCR Honda, factory Honda, and anyone since then really has always came here. Broken the race bikes is a pretty known spot uh, for most. So we're out here, we got Bobby out here, he just finished the race bike up. We got Brandon out here, and we got Justin. We're gonna go get this uh, race bike a shakedown, so stay tuned, check it out, and I uh, will show you kind of what we do while we're getting prepared, prepared to go race. We made it through the day testing. We broke the bike in. Bobby's back there again, kind of going through a few things. Brandon's out on the last loop before the sun fully goes down. We got Bob Designs out here. Now we're gonna go test some new lights with them. Get everything uh, shook down with that. Choose which lights we like best for racing, pre-run, spares. Um, so now we're rolling into the night. So enjoy this part. Yeah, super stoked to be racing Baja again. Uh, it's definitely 
coming up quick and we're ready. Yeah, working with Baja Designs the last few years has been really, really beneficial for our uh, success and uh, they've been a really big help and uh, we're, we're developing more stuff tonight and super excited to see what they came with. The race bike for the 1000 is uh, really good. It's the best one so far. We've got three years on these bikes now and uh, Bob's got them figured out pretty well. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's gonna do the job just fine. That's a wrap. Test day is done. The steed is broken in. Bobby's just practicing his wheels right now. Yep. He's on the clock. We got Brandon over here. He rode a Honda at the last race, but he's a KTM guy for a little bit. How's the Honda? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Let me tell you. Pretty good for the desert. How, I like it. How did Bob do? Pretty good. Bob is a professional. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He's on it, huh? He's on it, yeah. You can see him. Look, working yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> on it so that's kind of a wrap of uh what we do break the bike in let's uh let's get a little rundown from old justin morgan aka moron moron <laughs> well how did he go good you break her in best race bike ever best race bike yet 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 there'll be another one that's better leave yeah. that to bob yeah. though yeah that's the bob all right, anything, any last words on, uh, are you excited for the 1,000? Get back to Baja, factory Baja racer? factory, excited for the 1,000, ready to race. All right, what's up guys? We're back at the office, at the shop. You know, we got the race bike done tested. We, uh, you know, broke it in, got it handling perfect, uh, ready to race. Now it's back down at Bobby's, getting final prep and graphics put on and ready to go race. And I'm back in the office. Going over all my stuff, um, I'm getting pretty close to pit book being done. You know, there's going to be 23 pits total. Um, this is kind of a, some of my notes that I do, kind of making waypoints and checking um, course notes and making uh, making the pit plan. This is early stages of it, and then you know I kind of look at the overall map. I go back to my my old race notes that I have and look at fuel consumption and stuff like that see where we stretch pits out where we can't stretch them out uh, and make calls like that and uh, normally i get down there and pre on the whole course but this year i didn't get to be able to do that i'll do the stuff that i need to this weekend when we get down there um and then start my pre-running but you know this is kind of the whole thing and you know there's uh a lot of people go into this like justin bobby and seve we go back and forth on ideas and where to pit and what what to do and I'll come up with a grand scheme of uh, how to hopefully go win the ball 1000. This is what goes out to all my uh, pit crews. Kind of just gives you all a rundown where you could chase, who's going to be where, um, and all the distances, maps for uh, where the, the pit locations are going to be, stuff like that. And, you know, at, at the bottom, so after 23 of these, you know, I've got. Um, a tool list, contact list, and radio comms, and directions to where we're staying. And that that gets sent out to, to everybody, along with a couple other things, and um, everything gets dispersed. We're almost done with all the pit boxes, about to load up, and get out of here and start pre-running. So, that's pretty much uh, the behind the scenes of everything that it takes. It's a lot of work, but, eh, it's almost time to go to Baja. Alright, we'll catch you here soon.